Hello. The object of this video lecture is to learn how to create and modify graphs of data in Microsoft Excel. I have Excel open and I have an example from the Engineering 101 uh, homework analysis where we have a sling type thrower. We are varying the diameter of the piston in this case, three different options. And for a range of available pressures, we are calculating the resulting piston displacement, launch velocity, theoretical launch range, and calculated range. So we have these three different cases. Now, a table of data, it's very hard to look at this, uh, all of these numbers, and clearly see patterns and trends. You can show a lot more, much quicker, using a graph. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, the first thing I'll do is highlight some data. For instance, uh, pressure and calculated range might be two things of interest. I will go up to the Insert tab, and I will insert a scatter plot. You want a scatter plot, not a line plot. Scatter plot has different options for just data points, data points with smooth lines, uh, for this, we'd like to choose uh, smooth lines. Okay, and I do that, and Excel has tried to automatically interpret uh, the highlighted data that I chose. The x-axis appears to be my pressure varying from 10 to 40, and the y-axis appears to be my calculated range varying from about 5 up to 75. You can work with the graph here uh, on top of the table. Something that I prefer to do, it helps with visualizing how it will look when you print it, is to right click, choose Move Chart, and instead of having it an object in this sheet, I'll make it a new sheet, and you can change the name here if you wish. But now you see I have a new tab on the bottom of the screen showing the chart that's using data from sheet one. Okay, now uh, this doesn't tell me a lot of information. I need to add a lot more uh, here to be able to communicate properly. First thing we might want to do is indicate what the axis, uh, the x-axis and the y-axis represent. You note that clicking on the chart now, I have a design tab, a layout tab, and a format tab. Uh, that's where I want to, to work right now. I'll choose the layout tab, and I have an option here for axis titles. For my primary horizontal, I'll do a title below the axis. This is the pressure in pounds force per inch squared. I typed it that way instead of PSI to show you here. You can still format text as usual. I can highlight the number 2. I can go back to my Home tab. Under Font, I can click the button to bring up more formatting options, and I can superscript that. There we go. Just about anything you could do in Microsoft Word in terms of text formatting, I found you can do in, in Excel. I'll go back to Layout axis titles and I'll get a rotated vertical title and this will be R calculated in feet I'll highlight calc and I'll also make that subscript okay so now I know at least what the x-axis is what the y-axis is as well if I would like a, lay, a, a title, I can go to Layout, Chart Title, above the chart. Maybe throw a range or some other descriptive text in this case. Well, uh, going back here to my sheet, I have three different cases for varying piston diameter. So I would like to add two more curves to that plot uh, that show the effect of piston diameter on the launch range for a given pressure. I can achieve that through the Design tab, and note that there's a button for Select Data. That automatically takes me to the sheet here. If it didn't, I could just click on the sheet and, and bring it up. 
here you can add, edit, or remove series of data. Now I already have my first series. If I wanted to modify that, I could do so here. For instance, this represents a two inch piston diameter. So I could click edit and I could type in some descriptive net text, maybe two inch diameter. Click OK and note how that updated my default legend. I'll add another series, I'll call that three inch diameter. And then for the X values, I can click this button, which then allows me to click on the sheet and choose the X axis data for my second uh, column of values. Now it's still pi uh, piston pressure, so I can just click and drag and highlight that data. When I'm done, I can press the enter key. For Y, I can delete that default one, and I can come back to sheet one, and here's my calculated range. I can highlight that, hit the enter key. So now I'm telling Excel for three inch diameter series name, where to find the X values and where to find the Y values. Click OK and you can see it incorporated that data and it by default gave the line a different color. I will add one more. This will be four inch diameter. My X values, I will go back to sheet one and choose the pressure. My Y values, I will go back to sheet one and choose the calculated range values. Okay, I have my three sets of data in so I can click OK and go back to my chart. At this point, uh, I, can, I can do some more formatting. For instance, let's say instead of colors, I would like to modify those curves uh, in different ways. All you have to do is double click on the line. Another way, there's more than one way to skin the cat, you can right click and format data series as well. But note that I have options for markers if I wanted uh, markers. Line color, it's on automatic right now. I could go to solid line and I could change the color to black for instance. Line style, I can change the, the weight of the line. I can change it to a dashed line, for instance. I can change it to a double compound line. I can use arrows, all sorts of other uh, 3D format shadow options as well. Uh, but this is where I would go to modify that. And notice that the legend is already updated as well. The uh, axis. Note that I don't have any data from 0 to 10 or above 40 on pressure, so it's sort of useless uh, to have that on the screen. Well, you can right click and choose Format Axis, or you can just double click on the axis, and that opens the Axis Options box. And instead of the Automatic, I can switch to Fixed and choose 10 for my minimum and 40 for my maximum. Similarly here on the y-axis I don't really need uh, looking at significant figures I do not need the decimal places. So I, again I can right click or double click choose format axis and in this case I can format the number and instead of two decimal places I can choose zero decimal places. In terms of modifying the font, you can also do that by uh, double clicking each object and uh, changing its parameters here. However, I re really recommend the easiest thing to do is just have the entire chart selected, click Home, and then note that any change you make to the font size, for instance, scales with the entire chart. Ooh, that was too big. Let me go back. So now everything is scaled uh, from a 12 to a 20 point font accordingly. That's the easiest way to do it. 
If you don't like your legend uh, being on the outside, I could go back to layout on my legend. I can overlay the legend at the right. I can click and drag that wherever I want. I can double click on it or right click and choose format legend. And all the usual things you can do here as well. I could fill it with white to take out the lines behind it. I could put a solid border on it. Uh, change the color of that if I, if I chose to and I could modify the styles of the border as well. Uh, let's see, access lines as well. If I wanted to add or subtract access lines, I could, uh, I could do that through axes, grid lines, plot area as well. Real quickly, if I want to take those away, I can just click and choose the delete key and note that uh, removes it. I could right click and format the chart area and I could replace that with a solid border, black line. Oops, that didn't do what I thought it did. It put a border here around the large size, so I could click on the plot area and redo the same. There we go, solid block, black line. Note that there's many ways. You can double click, right click, and choose format, and then also under chart tools, uh, there's another way to access the, the options as well. Okay, I think that covers all of the, the basics for modifying uh, tabular data and displaying it in the form of a graph and uh, changing how the graph looks uh, as well. Thank you.